Okay, so um, I promised the guy on the forum I would do a short video on how to program uh, the Elevon mix on uh, Turnigy 9X, uh, which is uh, upgraded with uh, ER 9X firmware. So uh, here it goes. I'll just uh, start up my uh, transmitter. It's got the ER 9X on it. And uh, this is uh, a new model. So let it bind. This is my uh, F35 from uh, RC Powers. So and you've got elevons, no elevons or rudders or whatever. So uh, model number 14. How would I uh, program it? You got this one. You can see the list of all the different planes I have programmed at the moment. Uh, I've got quite a few. Some are doubles. Um, so let's say we uh, we we, uh, we want to try a completely new one. So we go to a blank. Can you see it like that? Yeah, a uh, blank. It's already filled in some of your channels. Um, I've got my left uh, elevator and the other one on channel two, channel one and channel two. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to channel one and I wanna edit and say it should react to aileron. That's okay. Go back and channel two. It's already on elevator. Your channel four, normally your rudder, you, know, uh, you don't use that. So let's just delete that. Channel three is your throttle. It's already there. If I would move my sticks now, you see, mm -hmm. they just do the one movement it says over here. So what I want is if I give uh, aileron movement, I want both my channels to respond to that. So up, go insert, and I say, oh, it should be aileron as well. That's it, now you have 100% elevator and 100% aileron going to one servo, so... The same I'm gonna do for the channel 1. That's gonna need some elevator. Insert. With elevator, as you can see, they're not going the same way. Uh, that's because the servos are placed uh, opposite of each other. Uh, uh, they follow the same movement. They're placed opposite, so they go the wrong way. So all I have to do is just quickly figure out which one is uh, is the proper uh, direction. So Let's just quickly set this to the minus 100. And I don't have to confirm anything, I just can. Well, that's up, that's down. That's it, that's your elevon mix. Mm, well, I'll just go in just a little deeper. So, uh, let's have a look. Well, this should be to the right. Oh, this, I got it reversed. So I also need to reverse my ailerons. Quickly go from 100 to minus 100. I'll have to do the same here. Now the setup proper. Let's say I also want uh, to put them on the switch, maybe dual rates or triple rates. Go back just a bit. Here you got your expo and your dual rates. Mm, you can do it over here, but I prefer uh, just seeing in the in the little uh, uh, graphics what I'm doing. So if I would want uh, 
to set my dual rates and my expo for my ailerons. Just press the button, you get you get the, the paragraph. So uh, well the expo I always like expo being full, so going to the side in the middle it's it doesn't respond very well, very much. So you get little throws and then when you go all out they go same over here so I've set my expo to 100% for my ailerons if I would want my to set the rates low uh, so I don't get my full throws just uh, turn back the weight and you can see the little line moving so that should be 50% and do the same for the other side as it would be some unique flying and I get little throws as you can see so that's basically uh, just how you set your expo you do rates quickly all right I hope I've shown you enough and if you got any more questions just let me know. We're good to go.